here is the issue I wrote you in about. Oh yeah, pull down stairway. Got a little bit of a gap there. It does, it no longer sits flush with the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Works okay, coming down, that's for sure. Yep, Add it. the ladder itself pulls down just fine. Yeah, feels pretty good. I see that the spring is bulging out on the right side here. Yeah. And what's this? <laughs> Bungee cord on this side. That was uh, how it came when we bought the home. Yeah, they probably broke the spring and they used a temporary fix. Now, how does it close? Closes um, a little difficult. Oh, yeah. You have to pull pretty hard on the one lever. Yep, I see. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we need to try to fix that. I think so. All right, Kim, after looking at the condition of this attic stair, yeah. it's not worth fixing, so I'm just going to give you a new one. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, I'm going to start by removing this bungee cord. <laughs> get that out of the way. And I'm going to bend this hinge so we can get this spring off. Get the tension off so it doesn't snap at me. Okay. Yeah, like that. Now i got to try to get it off. There's that one. Around there. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to cut off these hinges with a saw and the door will swing freely. Now I want to cut all the nails that hold the ladder to the structure. All right, coming down to you now. All right. You got it? I do. Wait a minute, we're cut on the step ladder. Here we go. All right, Kim, here's your brand new attic pull down stairs. I love it. It works the same way. When you pull it down, the stairs will unfold. Now, if you notice, we have two new springs, no more bungee cords. That is fantastic. <laughs> All right, now this is a pretty standard size, so it should fit into this opening. I've also left the old trim up there, and I'm going to try to put it in from the attic and drop it onto that trim. And then I can fasten it from above. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to get it up onto the attic floor. So I'll pull it up if you want to push it up. Sounds good. Okay, ready? I One, am. Two, three. I'm going to drop it down onto the onto the casing now. Okay. I don't want you to be in the way just in case it should fall through. Okay, good. All right, how's that look? I think you need to go a little bit more to the left. To your left? To my left. Okay. Maybe a little more. All right. Great. All right, now let me screw it off first and then we'll adjust the other side. Okay. All right, Kim, I'm going to push it down. Okay. You can pull it down the rest of the way. Oh, my gosh. Bring it right down. All wow. the way down. All right, now don't unfold the ladder yet. Okay. Take that step ladder and lean it up against here. I don't want to unfold it. I'm going to show you why in a minute. All right. Okay, good. Now I'm going to come down. Next thing I want to do is I actually want to cut the height or the length of your ladder to match the height of your ceiling to the floor. The manufacturer actually cuts the bottom part of the stringer much longer so that we can do that. So I'm going to take the ladder and unfold it, but I'm not going to unfold this lower section. I'm going to keep it underneath like that. Now you can take your tape measure and gently lean against the ladder and measure down to the floor. But if you don't hold the tape in the right orientation with the ladder, you could measure it wrong. Okay. To solve that problem, I'm just going to use a stick. Take the stick and I'm going to hold it tight to the stringer. I'm going to slide it down until it touches the floor, keeping it tight to the stringer. And I'm going to mark it right here. That's the length that I'm going to cut the stringer. All right. But I also want to mark the angle for the floor. So I'm going to take the stringer, I'm going to just turn it over, take a scrap piece like that, put it right there, keeping it tight to the ladder, and I'm going to mark right there for the angle. That's our angle, and that's our length. That's pretty slick. All right, I cut the angle on my scrap piece of wood. 
Now I'm going to mark for the length. To do that, I'm going to take the board and flip it back over, line up the joint of the bottom part with my mark, and then mark the length. To mark the angle, I'm going to take the board and flip it over like this, hold it parallel to the stringer right here, keep it flat, the bottom part here, and that's my angle that I want to cut. All right, Kim, your new pull-down stairway is in. Why don't you give it a try and see how it works? Oh, wow. That is great. That pulls down so easy. Yeah, look at the ladder unfold, and it fits nicely to the floor. Oh, wow. All right, now walk up there, and look what we did at the top. We put an insulator right oh. around the top, and what that'll do is seal out the warm air in the winter from escaping, and it'll keep out the hot air in the summer from getting into your house.